And the Lord gave me a word today. Yeah. Amen. And although I'm going to speak some to mothers, I'm speaking to everybody. There, there's no way that I can preach God's word just for one section of people. Yeah. But I'm going to give you what God gave me today. You may not like it. <laughs> Amen. You may not. You'll understand it. I know you'll understand it. Yeah. Because God has placed it so simple that you'll be able to understand this. First, I want you to turn to Matthew 12 and 46. Hallelujah. Matthew 12, 46. And we're going to read from the 46 to 50. Amen. Jesus was, this was on the Sabbath, and, and he was, actually doing good. He was healing people. He was speaking to the, the uh, those that were out and those that would listen. He was speaking to them and he was talking to his disciples and, and then starting at the 46 verse 12 and 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold his mother and his brother stood without desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. Uh -huh. But he answered and said unto them, unto uh, him that told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? I'm going to read this again. Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? Uh -huh. And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same as my brother, and sister and mother. All right. This is what I want you to know today. I know this is Mother's Day and happy Mother's Day to all of you. Mm -hmm. Our mothers. Yeah. But I want to tell you something today. Now when I was in the world, I thought a good mother was a person that kept house cleaned up, combed my hair, bought me shoes, would spank me when I needed it, would get up and cook breakfast, lunch, dinner, give us a snack. Sometimes we had sweet things. That's what I thought a good mother was. I thought a good father was the person who went out and provided, brought money home. But the Lord has helped me to believe as time has passed. Amen. God has shown me something just a little bit different. All right. Amen. So if you think you're a good man, a good father, uh -huh. whoo, Jesus, hallelujah. Yeah. Right. If you think you're a good mother, my, my, my. then I'm going to ask you a question today. Hallelujah. Because God is showing me where our perception of God may not be much. All right. And then the scripture said that the, your mother, your sister, your brother is the one who does what? The will of the Father. The will of God. So I'm asking you today, are you doing the will of God? Hallelujah. Are you telling somebody about Jesus? And then when you get your children up, hallelujah. Are you telling them about Jesus? And then when you see them falter, and you see them going into the wrong direction, are you telling them what's right? Hallelujah. Are you telling them the difference between wrong and right? Hallelujah. 
Jesus. Yeah. 
should you be doing? The will of God that sent you. Uh -huh. All right. So in his walk with his children, what might he be saying to them? Oh yeah, he gonna show them love. Yeah, cause they're his. And if you are, have been ordained, then what flows out of you? Love. But here's the other side of it. God has sent him, and what kind of man would he be if he get Jesus, and he's full of the Spirit of Christ, full of the Holy Ghost, but he never say anything to his children. All right. Now he going on to heaven anyhow. Mm. And he going to leave his children behind? What say ye? My, my, my. No. If he loves his children, why does he want his children to be? In heaven with him. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So he wants them to have an opportunity to taste of this sweetness that he has tasted of in yeah. God. So he's got to talk to his children. He's got to tell them the truth. He's got to stand up and be a man of God. The same with women. And then I can use the example of any of the women in this church. But what kind of mother would you be? Never to tell your children about sweet Jesus. Hallelujah. But God done called you out. He chose you. He pulled you out. Hallelujah. Woo, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, he pulled you out from the clenches of hell. What kind of mother would you be? Amen. Not to tell your children the truth. Hallelujah. They may not always like it. Hallelujah, because when my mother told me the truth, I didn't like it. All right. But now that I'm wrong, I understand it. And I'm glad that I saw her on her knees. I'm glad I saw her calling out to Jesus. I'm glad she told me, let's see what God has to say about it. The word it is plain and simple. Uh -huh. I'm going to read this and then I'm going to tell you and then I'm going to sit down. All right. I'm going back. John 15 and 15. Go ahead. I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father. I made them known to you. All right. You have not chosen me. But I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go out and bring forth what? Fruit. Fruit that's meat for God. Fruit. And that your fruit should remain. Remain. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Mr. Farmer. <laughs> Amen. That fruit come forth, doesn't it? That's it. That's and it's good fruit. That's right. That's right. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the father the uh, of the father in my name, my name, he shall give it you. All right. Yes. All right. Hallelujah. This is a good word today. Amen. 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 And then he says this. My Lord, we got it wrong, y'all. Yeah. We got it wrong. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. Then he says this. These things I command you. Come on. That you love one another. Amen. Now this gonna hit some folks today. Uh-oh. He said, I command you that you love one another. So how is it that we can sit in the churches every day? Uh -huh. How some people go to church Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh -huh. Thursday, Friday, yeah. sit up in the churches. Hating one another. Right. Talking about one another. Uh -huh. And then, 
Hallelujah. Praise Amen. Praise Amen. Even that family reunions and stuff. Amen. Huh? Talking about each other. We're in the same family. Yeah. My, my God. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Praise be to God. He said, I command that ye love one another. If you're not loving, something ain't right. All right. But I encourage each of you, when you leave out of here, do the will of God yes. that sent you. Yes. For those of you that's claiming God sent you, if God sent you, then you ought to be godly, huh? That's right. All right. Shouldn't love abide? Right. Amen. 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 And we always get on our children for stuff. Mm -hmm. And we the ones showing them how to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do it first, then they do it market behind us. Amen. So if you want to show them something, show them how to love somebody. Amen. 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 I'm serious about this thing. God showed me this. The Lord gave me this word. Yeah. Amen. And somebody going to be better because of it. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Your children know you. Yeah. Thank you. You can't hide. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Be that person that God has called. Do the will of God before your children. Let your children see you on your knees praying. Mm -hmm. I command that ye Love one another. I encourage all mothers today. <clears throat> Amen. I think it's wonderful to honor your mothers. Because there are some good mothers. I know there are. Yes. If you're not a good mother, you can start today. Oh, yeah. This is your time. Oh, yeah. I think about that little baby over there. She was clapping her hands yeah. while they were singing. Right. Clapping her hands. Right. This is when you train them. Right. This is when you tell them about Jesus. Yeah. Tell them how God loves you. Yes. Yes. You have an opportunity to tell that baby about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Not just the mother, father too. Father got to get it right too. That's right. Amen. Amen. I see some older mothers in here. Yeah, our children grown, but can we still tell them about Jesus? Yes, yes we can. Yes. 